Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today we'll be talking about an effort to get uh, Troy University's Veterans Memorial Stadium packed out for the home That's opener right. this weekend. My guest today is Rhett Griffith, uh, one of the organizers of Operation 30,000. So uh, first off, Operation 30,000, uh, tell us a little about how this all came about. Well, uh, Operation 30,000 is a student and alumni initiative to pack the house, which is Veterans Memorial Stadium on Saturday, this Saturday at 6 p.m. We're trying to have our first sellout in that stadium. And so why started this, this whole uh, process of getting all these fans to show up? Uh, the reason for that is I feel like, and a lot of us, a lot of other people feel like there can be a lot done to help get people into Veterans Memorial Stadium this Saturday. And Troy has a great field. They've got this new turf, and I think that's a big deal too. And Larry Blakeney has a great product in the Troy Trojans football team. And I think just because of that, we can actually help with that and get 30,000 people in on Saturday. So how did this whole thing come about? Uh, obviously, uh, you're one of the organizers. And where, where did this all come about to try to get this effort going? Uh, what we did is uh, myself and Cliff Lusk, Jr., he's a sophomore trumpet player in the band, uh, we're walking around the new Trojan Arena, which is very good looking. I think they did a great job with that. You'd agree with that, right? <laughs> of course. Yeah. Great building. Great building. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, we were walking around one day, and all of, the, all of the athletics, the big three, I would say, are located in the same practical area now. So you've got football, baseball, and basketball on that pavilion, you could mm -hmm. say. And so we're looking around football and talking about some stuff. And, you know, we figured, you know, Troy has never had a sellout. And we thought, well, maybe there's something we can do about that. And uh, so we kind of co-hatched that plan that night. <laughs> and so why is it so important to have a sellout, have so many fans in the stadium for the game? Uh, this particular game this Saturday is against Louisiana Lafayette. And they are, could be, very well be, the, the toughest conference game we play all season. Um, there's some good things going into that. Uh, Larry Blakeney is 21-0 and in home openers. Troy, in general, is 24-0, so we haven't lost a home opener since uh, Reagan was in office, so that's, that's a pretty <laughs> big deal if you think about it. Um, what can the fans do? Well, if you have 30,000 fans in there with the band, you create a pretty nasty atmosphere for the opponent, I think. And the players have said in the past that when they come out and they only see eight or 9,000 people, it kind of saps their energy. But when they come out and they see a stadium full of a lot of people, 20, 25,000, and what we're trying to do, 30,000, then I think that's a really, really big boost to the team. And so for a fan, what's in it for them? Obviously, you know, you're trying to get everybody to show up, but what's in it for the fan themselves to be a part of this? Well, you got, you got Auburn up here. You got a Alabama on this side of the state. You've got Florida State down here. So if you're in Dothan, Montgomery, or in Troy, Troy is pretty much the closest Division I football team you can find. So it's a great thing to come out to on a Saturday when you don't have anything else to do. Um, so it's just – it's good. It's and you good. talk about the importance of this game, and obviously you, you talked about the home opener. And this – I guess it, it makes it for a good game for the home opener to try to get that good crowd for the first game, right? Yes. Um, you know, you look at other, other games like Mississippi State and Navy, those are big draws that in a lot of ways can sell itself. And this is a Sun Belt Conference opponent, but, again, it could very well be the toughest one we play, and in that case could be one of the most important, in a lot of ways more important than Mississippi State. If we lose a conference game, we might not win the title. And so, and that affects uh, fans going to possibly a bowl game later in the exactly, season. Exactly, so. exactly. That could cost a bowl game trip. So, so, so there you go. There, there's your incentive for the point. fan. If they're there on Saturday and help them win a conference uh, game, then exactly. they, they have get a, a chance reward. to go, go to exactly. maybe New Orleans sometime later in the season. Right. So, well, it sounds like a good effort, and hopefully – you'll get 30,000 there. Uh, I know I will be a part of that, that crowd, so Good hopefully deal. I'll add my one to that 30,000, but hopefully there'll be more. Yes. And if anyone wants some more information about this, it, how can they find out more information about it? Uh, they can go to uh, gochortrojans.com, okay. or they can go to the Facebook page, Operation 30,000, 